Welcome to part two of my WrestleMania 7 ratings. And here in this video, I'm going to talk about the one star matches. First one star match of the night was uh, LOD going over strong against Power and Glory. This was, you know, a very, very quick matchup. Made LOD look very impressive indeed, but I can only award one star. Jake the Snake Roberts versus. Rick Martell in a blindfold match, one star. Uh, Tenru and his tag team partner, his name escapes me, but, but it was the guy that no, no sold Earthquake one time in Japan, one of that infamous wrestling turn shoot fights. His name escapes me. One star match against Demolition, which consisted of Smash and Crush, no axe at this WrestleMania. Uh, Texas Tornado defeated uh, Dino Bravo in a one-star match. It was fairly basic. And The Undertaker started his undefeated streak here at WrestleMania 7 with a win over Superfly Jimmy Snuka. One-star. Tombstone City, baby! Now, I'm going to talk about the Jake the Snake Roberts Rick Martel match. You know, I gave it one star as there was not much wrestling going on in this blindfold match, but is probably the best ever blindfold match. You know, there could have been Jake Roberts, his psychology, and Rick Martel was good in this as well. And yeah, they, the crowd were involved. You know, Jake Roberts was, you know, pointing, you know, and the crowd kept cheering him on and pointing him in the right direction of the model Martel. It was fun for what it was, and I think it did work. But um, would I recommend someone watching it? No, I wouldn't. Uh, it was also good to see Damien the Snake a little bit more lively than he was at WrestleMania 6. I'll be back with my another part of my WrestleMania 7 ratings.